with a heart that is seeking after you. Father God, I thank you that you feel that desire to just know you more. I thank you that you, you quench our thirst, Father God, and you, you answer questions and you, and you fulfill your promises to each and every one of us. And I thank you for that in the name of Jesus. I thank you that you speak to us through pastor and the Holy Ghost. And I thank you that the word is made clear to us and we understand things that that may have been confusing, and I thank you that clarity is brought today in the name of Jesus. I thank you that we leave here refreshed and strengthened and ready for the week to come, and I thank you that um, you just keep us under your wings and protect us as we fulfill uh, the rest of the day and, and go throughout the week. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Amen. Hallelujah. To be see praise and glory and honor. To be blessed and be magnified. Can you say amen? amen. Well, find somebody and greet them and tell them they just look good this morning. Hallelujah. 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 We're glad to have you today. And uh, thank you for coming to Faith and Victory Church. Those that are joining us on Facebook Live, we're glad to see you this morning. And um, hallelujah. I'm not sure how it's working, but it's, we're out there. Can you say amen? All righty. Praise God. And, um, you know, this is um, the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Can you say amen? God is good. How often is God good? All the time. Yeah, Jeff just pointed it out. First sermon since October with a shoe on the foot. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, um, I went to an infectious disease doctor on Thursday. He released me. I don't need to come back and see him anymore. Um, I'll still go see the podiatrist because there's a few more things to do there. But the guy who wanted to cut my toe off said, I'm, I don't need to see you anymore. Hallelujah. I said, I got my toe. He said, yeah, and that was the recommendation of the hospital because it would look so bad was to take it off. I'm, well, doc, you know what? I got my toe. Hallelujah. Amen. Because Jesus is good. Hallelujah. And just put faith out there and believed him. Amen. Now, we, we did what we were supposed to do, and we weren't foolish. We did everything I was supposed to do as far as taking care of it in the natural. But I'm telling you, it didn't look good. Now, if I put pictures up there for you, you'd probably get sick. It could, it could be nasty. And uh, so I asked my um, podiatrist two weeks ago, well, a week and a half ago, I said, what did you think? He said, my gut feeling was you won't keep in your toe. The other one was ready to cut it off at the hospital. And uh, my uh, infectious guy said, I don't need to see you. There's no active infection in there. The uh, podiatrist said, we're almost done. And uh, can you say amen? amen. Hallelujah. And he, ke he keeps telling me, you keep proving the pundits wrong. No, I just keep proving Jesus right. Amen. amen. I said amen. amen. Hallelujah. So uh, for the first time since before in the hospital in October, uh, I'm wearing shoes to preach in. My wife wants to say something. She don't do that often. Not here anyway. She does at home. But I'm telling you, we may as well get used to first times. Hallelujah. Our Jesus is a healer. He's a supplier. He does greater than all we could ever ask or think. Hallelujah. And the doctors may say, no, it can't happen. It's never happened before. There's a first time for everything with Jesus, hallelujah, with our God, hallelujah, anything is possible. The Word of God tells us with Him all things are possible, all things. What the, maybe the doctors have said is not possible, with our God it is possible, hallelujah. Glory to God, glory to God. And we can't go by what we see. No. If we had gone by what we saw when you went to that hospital, we would have agreed with what they said. Cut it off. But no, we don't go by what we see. We go by what the Word of God says. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I want to tell. He's good. He's faithful. He's strong. He's mighty. He's able. Hallelujah. Glory. Oh, above anything you could ask or even think he, he does. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. I am healed and I am whole because of the Lord. of cancer yeah yeah your mind will try to run away with you your mind will have you in a grave your mind but that's where the battle's going on 
in the mind and you've got to pull down those thoughts. You've got to pull them down and you've got to think thoughts that line up with what the word of God says. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, don't think I didn't have thoughts that came. Thoughts of, oh, I'll never see grandbabies. Oh, I'll never do this. I'll never. Oh, but you put those thoughts down. You put them down. You put them down. And oh. God says and the word of God says that I am healed the word of God says I am whole hallelujah I am whole hallelujah hallelujah glory to God glory to God hallelujah oh thank you Jesus with you all things are possible thank you Lord Jesus we praise you and this has happened first time we've ever seen this happen first time we've ever ever had a case like this where they were healed oh yes father we thank you now we thank you now for you are great you are mighty oh and it's you that we look to for you ha <sighs> And we thank you for that now in Jesus' name. And Father, we thank you. Tell people more and more about your goodness. More and more about the first time this happened and the first time that happened. Because you are a God of the beginning and the end. Father, And we thank you for that in Jesus mighty name. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you say amen? amen. Glory to God. You know, uh, it's been a year. Joe, uh, Joe, they went to cut Joe's finger off after he tried to cut it off himself. <laughs> Hallelujah. Show him Joe. There it is. Hallelujah. Hey, right after I got out of the hospital, he went, he had to go get some stuff done because he tried to take a table saw and cut it off. Hallelujah. But, they, you know, they're ready to take it. He's got his, Brother Bill's not here today. They, they, they took the nails to the coffin into the hospital room. They were going to nail him up and ship him out. Hallelujah. But he's alive and well. Glory to God. Can you say amen? amen. Why? Because whose report will you believe? We will believe the report of the Lord. Hallelujah. His report says, I am filled. His report says, I am healed. His report says, victory for the people of God. Hallelujah. Can you say amen? When you look at the circumstances of life, when the enemy comes in like a flood, where your feet were where your head was two seconds before, we serve the God of all victory. We serve the God who will bring us out with a strong arm. Glory to God. We serve the God who says, I am that I am. Glory to God. What I am is that. The I am that heals your body. The I am that delivers you from the snare of the fowler. The I am who says, I am greater than your circumstances. Our God, he is God. There is none else. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I thought as she said this morning, if we had lined up with them, I'd be learning how to walk again. Because they cut your big toe off, you got to learn how to walk again. You lose your balance. I don't have to learn how to walk again. I like the psalmist said, like David said, he said, I can run through a troop and leap over a wall, glory to God, and I do it whole. I do it whole in Jesus' name. God is good. Amen, 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 amen. Can you say amen? We'll be blessed. Somebody say glory. glory. Amen, Andrea. Amen. Glory to God. Victory. Victory is ours. Victory belongs to us. Amen. Let me say this, though. You know what? I mean, we, we, we've had so much word put in us over time that when, when the reports came, it was, we're going to believe God. I mean, that's just it. There's no option. 
We, we have no other option in our, in our arsenal except believe in God. Amen. Defeat's not in my arsenal. Amen. But I'll tell you what, immediately we started pumping, pumping extra word in. Amen? Yeah. Now I went to the doctor and I got to get out of this thing. It's just, I know it's like a dog on a leash, you know? We, you know what? We, we, um, when Janie went to the doctor's, you know, she started pumping it in there. When I, went in the, when I went in, they put me on IV antibiotics. Twice a day, I had to hook up this little thing to a pick line and let pump antibiotics in there. They were pumping extra stuff in. Well, they were doing what they were doing in the natural, but I was doing in the supernatural. She was doing in the supernatural. Amen? We, would, we just put, started pumping the word in, pumping the word in, pumping the word in. I'll be honest with you. I think I could quote Brother Hagin's Healing Belongs to Us series, all four of them. I wake up in the middle of the night confessing with him, you know. First Peter 2, 24 says, by his stripes we were healed. If we were healed, then I am healed. Glory to God. My, my, I line up with the Word of God. The Word of God says I'm healed. I believe the Word of God. Hallelujah. Body, you line up with the Word of God. You're healed. You act on the Word of God. Sickness, disease, pain, wounds. Flee my body. Get out of my body. Because I'm the healed of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm a living testimony. Jamie's a living testimony. Dr. Bill's a living testimony. Belinda's a living testimony. Joe's a living testimony. That our God, he, he is a Jehovah Rapha. The God that healeth thee. Makes thee every whit whole. In Jesus' name. Can you say Amen. Can you say amen? Report, will you believe? And the doctor comes and the doctor says, I didn't, I didn't act the fool. You know what I mean by that? I didn't go, I bind you, doctor, in Jesus' name. I, I curse you in your words and not go back ever again because I don't, I don't want to hear what he's got to say. I did. He said, we're going we're to need to cut it off. He said, turn the nurses. Don't let him eat after midnight. They're going to surgery in the morning. Yeah. No, whose report will you believe? I can't keep, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep my throat. But I didn't get up and get in his face. I just said, no. Nah. I got to run right on, right on my phone. Uh, healing belongs to us. One of those. I started playing in the hospital. Just, yes, sir. I'm keeping it. Jesus is Lord. You want me to let the kids go? Or just, okay. Can you say amen? So I didn't act a fool, but I tell you what. Okay, Doc, I'll do what you say, do, but... I told him, I said, I know what to do on my side. You do what you need to do. I know what to do on my side. And that's word, 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 word. Feeding on the word. Letting it just keep producing faith. Went back and he said, well, we're, still gonna, well, we're probably going to have to cut the end of it off. No, that's all right, Doc. You've moved, from one, you've moved up. I know we're moving all the way out. <laughs> then when I saw him this last time, he said, here, he went and showed me pictures of all the visits of how it looked each time. We had pictures too, but he showed me, he went to show me. He said, you don't need to come back to me. Now he's, he, he kept telling me, keep in the back of my mind. I, I won't keep it in the back of my mind. That's what the devil wants to do. He wants to keep it in the back of your mind that you're not going to make it. He wants to keep it in the back of your mind that you're not going to win. He wants to keep it in the back of your mind that you're not going to get through. But we need to fill our mind and be like the Bible says, Abraham being fully persuaded that what he had promised, he was also able to perform. This isn't a sermon yet. Praise God. This is just a warm-up. Glory to God. He was able to perform what he promised. And he was fully persuaded. Cast not away thy confidence, for if you will, in the end you will reap if you faint not. There's great recompense of reward for continuing to believe God and put your trust in God. Amen. I said amen. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Amen, amen, amen. Glory to God. Well, let's go ahead and we'll, we'll get back into the service. 
We're going to go ahead and let, receive the offer and let the kids go out. Uh, if you need an offering envelope, raise your hand. If you're given by, by Square Cash or by PayPal, go ahead and send that electronically. Hallelujah. Jesus is. The Lord thy physician, the Lord that healeth thee. Amen, 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 amen. If you don't need one, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anointing works. Get the Word and the Holy Ghost working together in your life. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Father, we pray over the offering of giving right now in the name of Jesus are blessed. Thank you that the windows of heaven are opened unto them. They walk in the land of full supply, walk in the land of blessing, walk in the, under the benefit of the open heaven. In Jesus' name, we declare prosperity and blessing over their lives. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen and amen. Go ahead, let's just receive that. Um, got, got a um, uh, announcement to make concerning church services. Um, as soon as we get all the materials in, um, we want to start like the middle of like February, but if not, it's going to be the first of March. We are going to begin teaching on Wednesday nights. Now, you want to be here for this, okay? Um, on the authority of the believer. Amen? Now, what we're going to provide, um, we, we've got 10 ordered or 12 ordered, so, um, but we're going to put each family We'll get a copy of the uh, Believer's Authority Study Guide and the Believer's Authority Legacy Edition book. Also get um, four, two tape series, The Authority of the Believer and Reigning in Life as a King, because you need all that material for the Bible study. Church is buying it for you. And we're, we're, we want you to get, this is important. Now, if you want your own study guide besides your spouse's, you got to buy that. Okay, I think they're like $10, $10, $11 or something to get an extra one. You'll have to let us know because we'll have to order it. Now, if you cannot be here on Wednesdays and want to watch the Bible study service, you can do that. We'd like for you to be here. I mean, if, if we get into questions or whatever, you can be a part of it. But uh, you can still get the material and have it at home so you can, if you can't watch until you get off work or whatever, 11 o'clock or whatever, uh, or with the next morning, you'll still be able to do the Bible study. We, listen, if, if all the things, and we talk about Brother Hagin teaches, you know, the subject of faith, Mark 11, 23 and 24, but I will say probably the earmark of his ministry is the, the teaching on the believer's authority. When we, uh, see, that has a lot to do with faith. But that book, you, a lot of people don't know this, got into Eastern Germany before the Iron Curtain fell. They had it translated into German and got it in there, and the pastors in East Germany began to speak. The Iron Curtain's coming down, and there'll be no bloodshed in our country. The Iron Curtain's coming down, and there'll be no bloodshed in our country. They, and they kept speaking and believing that. Well, guess what? One of the only nations in all of Eastern Europe that when the Iron Curtain fell, they had no bloodshed. People going out and killing communist leaders and all that was East Germany. Hallelujah. And it started. You know, East Germany began, and then Estonia seceded, and the Baltic states went like dominoes. Hallelujah. And all of East Germany, all of Eastern uh, Europe uh, seceded from the Soviet Union, and there was nothing they could do to stop it because the believers rose up and understood their authority and began to use their authority. And before Dad Hagen passed away, he said, the Iron Curtain came down, the bamboo's next. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you say amen? amen? Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. All right. So that's coming up. Uh, We'll announce exactly when it's going to start. That we're waiting for all materials to get in. We've ordered them and waiting for them. To... It's going to be exciting, amen. And it should be your study book. You can write in it and all that kind of stuff. And you know, and and you got to do some work ahead. You got to read. What it tells you to read. You got to listen to the tape you or the CD you're supposed to listen to ahead of time. Get that teaching, and then we come to the Bible study. How many excited about that? Yeah. All right. 
All right. Praise the Lord. All right. Children's Church Preschool, you guys are dismissed. Rest of you, go ahead and open up your Bibles. We're glad to have a couple of um, visitors this morning. Tony, is right? And Aunt Jean. We're glad to have you all this morning. Now, is it your aunt? Or my aunt and your sister. All right. They're visiting with us this morning. We're glad to have you this morning. Praise God. The precious Holy Spirit of God, the great and mighty one who comes to anoint the church, uh, the great paracletos that Jesus sent uh, to be another one after the same manner as himself. We trust in you, O Holy Spirit, to give words of unction, to anoint the words of this vessel so that they speak as the oracles of God. We trust in that you will work and manifest yourself in whatever way you see fit in the midst of us this day. Thank you for the precious, holy, written word of God that when spoken and received and heard by the ears of the hearer, and do we do pray that every ear is a listening ear, every heart is a receptive heart, that they have ears to hear that which the Spirit says unto the church, and that as they receive from the counsel of God, faith arises in their heart, and they're able to walk in the light and be in the light, even as you are the light, Almighty One. We thank you for it. that Jesus shall be lifted up and drawn men unto himself. And we're careful to give you the praise, the glory, and the honor in the majestic and mighty and wonderful name of Jesus. Amen and amen. I say glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, thank you all for being with us today. The uh, Psalm 61 says in verse 1 through 4, Hear, O my cry, O God, attend to my prayer. From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed. How many of you have ever been there? I don't tell you, when you're facing battles in life, you can become overwhelmed. When you're facing battles in life, the devil can just be like standing in your face, kicking you in the side, driving you into the ground, and you don't know what to do, and you don't know how to get out of it. But Psalmist said here, he said, when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Glory to God, for thou hast been a shelter for me, a strong tower from the enemy. I will abide in thy tabernacle forever. I will trust in the covert of thy wings, glory to God. See, David knew one thing. See, this is when he got delivered from the hand of Absalom. His own son was trying to kill him. You don't think that'll mess you up? Your kids are trying to kill you? That'll mess up. Yeah, that'll, that'll really uh, put a damper on the family reunion next year. But David had got delivered. He said, my heart's overwhelmed. I'll lay, I lay me to the rock. Take me to the place of my salvation. Take me where there is an answer that I can't get anywhere else. Glory to God. Glory to God. Take me to the rock of my salvation. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And we found out from the word of God, we find out from the word of God that Jesus is our rock. Amen. First Corinthians 10, 4 says, they did all drink that spiritual drink and they drank from that, that spiritual rock and followed them. And that rock, talking about Israel in the desert, when Moses struck the rock and they drank water out of there in the middle of the desert. And that rock was Christ. Yes. Hallelujah. He is a stone that the builders rejected, hallelujah, and has become the chief cornerstone upon whom all the foundation of the apostles and prophets are built. Jesus is the rock. Amen. I said, Jesus is the rock, hallelujah. When you're looking at trouble, and you know, and you know and everything the Bible says, and all other ground, as that song says, and all, all the ground around us is sinking sand, lead me to the rock, glory to God. Amen? Amen. Amen. Some of you remember that old, that old song, uh, Cornerstone. Jesus is the cornerstone. Hallelujah. Amen? When everything around us is sinking sand, he is solid. He doesn't shake. He's unmovable. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Your answer lies in the rock. Can you say amen? Look at the first, uh, second book of Samuel. And in the 22nd chapter, we're going to read a good portion of this chapter. And I'll tell you, if you've read the life of David, David didn't listen. How we get the idea.
that by serving God, it's all going to be hunkadory. They're never, never going to face any challenges. Amen? And I'll tell you, one of the questions that always wants to come to word of faith people, and come on now, us charismatic word of faith Bible toting devil thumping happens is why. Why that happen? I'm a faith person. Duh. There you go. We're to fight the good fight of faith. Why did this? Okay. David Ingalls had a song, got from brother, one of Brother Hagin's sermons. Don't say why. You're, the question cannot be why. The question is, what do I do? Or how do I respond? Because you get caught up in the why, the devil will be on there you're saying, telling you, well, you did such and such. You committed the unpardonable sin. God won't forgive you for that. Amen. Well, you did such and such. That's why you're cursed and you're going to die because of it. The devil has a whole litany of things to feed into you, to put, keep faith out of you, and to keep you in unbelief, and to keep you in doubt. Hallelujah. But I want you to know. I want you to know that hallelujah is in the reference to what I'm about to say, not because of what the devil does. I want you to know that whatever the devil sends your way, though the enemy come in like a flood, the Spirit of God raises up a standard against him. And what is that standard? It is Jehovah Nisi, the standard or the banner of victory over us. Glory to God. This is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith glory to God God raises up the victory banner and says believe me trust in me if thou canst believe all things are possible to him that believeth glory to God and he gives us the word of God and faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their transgressions he sent his word. We have been given the very answer to everything the devil's got to defeat us with. And no matter what he brings, we already have the answer. He knows what you have need of before you ask or think. Go talk to uh, uh, either Ephesians or Galatians. One of those guys, one of those letters had it in there. He knows what you have need of before you ask it or think it. He's already sent the answer. Amen. That doctor may walk in and tell you there is no hope, there is no answer other than this or that, and in some cases you're going to die. They told Dr. Bill last summer a year ago, they said he doesn't have months, he has days or weeks. He has days or weeks. Well, he's not here this morning, but he's, he's, been, he's been in church. He's alive, gained weight. Amen. Hallelujah. Live and well. Isn't that right, Brother Bill? He's watching this morning at home. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Live and well. But the doctor said no. The doctors will tell you what they know. They'll tell you what they know from their learning and their education and what the circumstances look like. And I don't get mad at them. I just go find out who knows some more. I find out from somebody who got a little more insight. Hallelujah. So I went to the Lord and the Lord said, remember, David did that all the time. Shall I pursue? You shall pursue and you will win. Shall I pursue? You don't need to Pursue this one. I got it. Amen. Can you say amen? amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We go and inquire of the one who has the answer. Praise God. I want to read to you from the, uh, this is after David, uh, after all the giants had been killed. Remember, we know the story. David and, the, David and Goliath, you know, David took a stone and slew the giant and he had picked up five stones, you know, and, you know, we kind of look at that without any learning or anything. Well, David carried a few extra stones in case he missed. No, Goliath had four brothers. 
there were five giants. And in his lifetime, I always tell him the lesson here is don't start celebrating your victory until you finish the job. Because he went and slew slew Goliath. If he had gone ahead and killed the rest of them, they wouldn't have had any more problems with him ever. He was an old man when they got the last one. Had to have some help. Are you here? But the Bible says in 1 Samuel chapter 21, down here, um, there were four born born to the Gath and fell by the hand of David and by the hand of his servants. Now, that's the other four besides Goliath. One of them was a six-finger, six-toed giant. Had 24 digits all together. My name is Montoya. You killed my father prepared to die. All right? Y'all seen that movie. Hallelujah. So after all, now remember, David served as king over Judah for seven years. And then he served over the, the joined or the united kingdom for 33 years, altogether 40 years. But over Israel and Judah for 33 years. And during the time he was king over Judah, he was fighting Saul and fighting, you know, descendants of Saul and, you know, and against him. They were trying to kill him and the things were going on all the time. Okay. There was just stuff going on. But then, you know, in the end, he finally, he finally wrapped it up, had the whole thing. In chapter 22 of 1 Samuel, David spake unto the Lord the words of this song and delivered him out of the hand of all his enemies and out of the hand of Saul. And he said, the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. The God of my rock and him will I trust. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation. My high tower and my refuge. My savior, thou savest me from violence. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. Remember that song? I will magnify the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. And then later on we get the other part. The Lord liveth. Blessed be the rock. Okay. Well, that came out of this. This is really a psalm of David. It's not listed in Psalms. This is a psalm of David. When the ways of death compass me or compass me, let me surround you. Don't lose your hope. Don't lose your drive. Don't lose the desire to win and to live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. When the waves of death come past me, the, uh, sorry, the floods of the ungodly made me afraid. The sorrows of hell compassed me about. The snares of death prevented me. In my distress, folks, we need to stop just trying to make faith confessions. I'm not bothered. I'm not distressed. And realize where we are. And when we are, do what we need to do to get out of it. Amen. Amen. In my distress, I called upon the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And cried to my God, and he did hear my voice out of his temple, and my cry did enter into his ears. You know what the devil's going to tell you? God ain't listening. You're all alone. God, the devil's going to tell you that God's far away in another place. He ain't got time for you. He's too busy taking care of Pastor Ed and Janie. He ain't got time for you. Just better for you to go ahead on and die. Come on now. One time the prophet went to God and said, listen, Right after he killed the 450 prophets of Baal all by himself. And some little harlot got up on her throne and said, uh, The gods do to me that if I don't do the same to you by this time tomorrow. And he ran off and hid. He's out killing 450 prophets one day and running from a whore the next. 
That's just what she was. Skank, all kinds of words you probably come up with. Hated God. And then she's going to tell the prophet of God, I'm going to kill you by tomorrow this time. And what did he do? He ran off and he had began to cry out to God, I'm the only one left. Why in the world are they going to kill me? I mean, I, I did everything you told me. God said, you know, I'm going to just paraphrase it in the Ed Taylor version. <laughs> Shut up, weenie. I've reserved unto myself 7,000 who have not bowed their knee to Baal. Now get up from there. Go over and anoint Elijah. Elisha. To be prophet in your stead. You're not done. Get up from there. And then you're distressed. The enemy will tell you you're done. I'm going to take you out. I've got I, you. You think you're something. You think you're some spiritual hot rod. I'm telling you, I'm coming to get you. Start singing na na na. Hey hey goodbye. <laughs> and you just start singing hey, amen. 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 Jesus is my healer now. Amen. Not bad for a white guy. <laughs> I don't have a, lot, a whole lot of soul left in there. Glory to God. Get Nathan in here. He's got more than I got. Hallelujah. Jesus is my healer. Amen. Glory to God. Oh, you know, na, 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 hey, 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 good. But they'll be singing that to you. He'll get the New Orleans, those, those saints down in New Orleans out there playing your funeral procession out there in your head, walking through the streets with the skull, crossbones, and all that stuff. But God says, in your distress, they said, my distress, I called on you. And he heard me. He heard the cry of my heart. When you cry out to God and say, God, I need you. I need answers. He hears. I said he hears. Glory to God. And the earth shook and trembled. And the foundation of heaven moved and shook. Why? Because he was wroth. Not with wroth with David. He was wroth that the enemy had come against his servant. God gets angry. But when the enemy starts messing with his kids, he gets angry with. Are you here? And his fierce anger against the enemy comes. And he will unleash a hurt on the devil. Hello? Amen. But you got to get in faith and look to him. Amen? Then smoke went out of his nostrils and fire out of his mouth devoured. Coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also and came down and darkness was under his feet. He rode upon a cherub and did fly. He was seen upon the wings of the wind. He made his darkness pavilions around him, dark waters and thick clouds of the sky. Through the brightness before him were coals of fire kindled. The Lord thundered from heaven. You cry out unto God, and the Lord thunder. He will come as thunder into your life. He'll show up in power and glory. And everything the enemy's trying to do, here comes the God of heaven. Amen. So you're messing with my kid. Amen. You're messing with my child. Amen. And you ain't seen nothing till you see God show up on the scene and say, I've had enough of you, boy. Amen. And the Most High uttered his voice. He sent out arrows and scattered them, lightning and discomfited them, fitted them. And the channels of the sea appeared. The foundation of the world were discovered at the rebuking of the Lord. At the blast of the breath of his nostrils, he sent from above. He took me, he drew me out of many waters. Are you ready? 
Listen to this. Listen. Listen real good. What did David do? He cried. God heard. And God came. And David said, he delivered me from my strong enemy. What's your enemy this morning? And from them that hated me. That's all right. They might be too strong for you, but they're not too strong for him. Hallelujah. Any black you sing it all the time? But Nancy Harmon, you know, God rides on the water. He rides on the flood. Amen. Ain't no power from hell going to stop my God, the God of love. Amen. God rides on the water. going to stop God's wings of love. Amen. I feel the winds of mercy straight from above. God rides, rides on. Songs out there. David cried in his distress. And he came to deliver his servant. See, the devil will tell you God's not listening. No, God's on the way. I said God's on the way. God came to show up. To do what? To deliver you from your enemy. And from them that hate you, that were too strong for you, God has come to show up to bring you out. That's Old Testament. Oh, I got a New Testament scripture for you. Greater is he that is in me than he. Me and God are a majority. Amen. With God, I can do all things. Amen. For me, hallelujah. Glory to God. They prevented me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. That means help or strength. You Listen, folks. You have. hears you, that he has an answer for you, that he's there to defend you and deliver you and bring you out. Glory to God, knowing this, that he is not happy with the devil. The devil is not his pit bull sit to take to work out the plan of God in your life. God's leash, and he uses him to do stuff in your life, to make you, you know, work out his plan in your life. No, God don't like the devil. Satan showed up one day and said, I'm taking over. And God said, oh, boy, oh, really? Boom. He said, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Amen. And he came out of maximum warp. If you understand Star Trek, okay. Amen. But the Lord was my stay. He was my strength. He was my, he was my help. David, I mean, time after time after time. People trying to kill him. People that were loyal to him would turn and try to kill him. Hello? But God kept delivering him. I said, God kept delivering him because he delighted in me. God delights in you. The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands, have he recompensed me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord and have not wickedly departed from the Lord. For all his judgments before me and for his statutes, I did not depart from. This is what we're talking about, folks. You have got to stay in the word of God. I don't feel like it. No matter how you feel. 
You want victory? You get a hold of God's word. You get like a pit bull with a, somebody, an invader's leg and you don't let go. You chew it till there ain't nothing left and chew some more. You keep staying that word of God. You keep putting that word in. You keep living in that word. Glory to God. Can you say amen? For all his judgments were before me from his statutes. I did not depart from them. I was also upright before him and have kept myself from my iniquity. There the Lord has recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to my cleanliness in his sight. With the, merci with the merciful, wilt thou show merciful. mercy. Be merciful. With the upright, thou wilt show thyself upright. With the pure, wilt thou uh, show thyself pure. And with the froward, thou wilt show thyself unsavory. And the afflicted people, thou wilt save. We are, listen, we're not haughty. We're humble before the Lord. Hallelujah. Thou art the lamp, my Lord. And the God. A troop and leaped over a wall. Your running days aren't behind you, they're in front of you. Perfect, the word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all them that trust in him. For who is God? Savor except the Lord. Now remember this word Lord in small caps is the covenant God, Yahweh, Jehovah. The four This is the covenant God. This isn't just, this is the God I'm in covenant with. I have a relationship and a covenant with him. Amen. And who is the rock save our God? Power. Can you say amen? And he maketh my way perfect. Dr. Oral Roberts preached it, called it tracking with God. The hind feet of a deer are like this. When the front feet go down, the hind feet come. He made my feet like the hind feet. I, wherever God puts it down, I step in. When I track. I track with God. Surely goodness and mercy. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Amen? Amen? By the steel waters, by the green pastures. He's my shepherd. My feet are like the hind's feet. Glory to God. Can you say amen? Somebody say amen. amen. He teacheth my hands to war so that I take a bow of steel is broken by my arms. Thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation. Thy gentleness hath made me great. Thou hast enlarged me. Under me, so that on you can just walk on, on top of snow. It spreads out your weight. He's enlarged feet your steps, so that you don't slip. See, You walk with him, and he's made the, the enlargement of your feet so they don't slip. Yes. What do you mean slip? You don't fall down. I said he's strengthening you. I have pursued my enemies and destroyed them. Turn not again until I have consumed them. And I consumed them and wounded them. And they could not rise, yet they are falling under my feet. It rose up against me, thou hast uttered, uh, subdued under me. What are you facing? This attacks. You're going to put God, put them under your feet. Sing that little charismatic chorus. It's under my feet. The devil's under my feet. 
Now my victory is complete. Jesus spoke, principalities made a show of them openly. He's under my feet. The devil's under my feet. Then you can see the sickness is under my feet. God subdued the enemy and has put him under your feet. Glory to God. Now you tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And you're Can you say amen? Thou hast given me the necks of mine enemies that I might destroy them that hate me. Then did I beat them as a small, as small as the dust of the earth. I did stamp them as the mire of the street and did spread them abroad. Thou hast delivered me from the strivings of my people. Thou hast kept me to be the head of the heathen. They shall be obedient unto me. Strangers shall fade away. They shall be afraid out of their close places. The Lord liveth. And blessed be my rock. And exalted be the God of my rock and my salvation. You cried unto God. He heard. And he came in his fierce, and fierce wrath and anger against the works of the enemy that were arrayed against you to deliver you and to bring you out. Glory to God. He may have brought sickness and poverty and calamity to your life, but God is now putting that under your feet and subduing it under your feet. Glory to God. As you cry unto him and say, my God, he is God and there is none else. He is the rock of my salvation. Glory to God. And he will subdue your enemy and put him under your feet. And you'll walk by faith. Amen. Walk in victory. Hallelujah. Break the neck of your enemy. Whether it's cancer or disease or any attack of the enemy, God's going to let you stand on your enemy and break it. Hallelujah. God is greater than your circumstance. Say, so, well, I'll just, you know, you just saying junk that you don't even know about. I lived it. We talked about it this morning. Talked about Janie. Talked about me. Talked about Joe. Talked about. When he was born, she came out with postpartum cardiomyopathy. Cardiomyopathy is the heart muscles go flabby and will not pump blood. So the doctors came to her and said, we have, no, we have nothing for you except to do a heart transplant. Now, let me say, these are local doctors here in Greensboro. They, they wrote it in writing. They have the written report of the doctor. And not some fly-by-night doctor. Kenneth Copeland's ministry came and filmed them and shared it on the Believer's Voice of Victory. And that's still on Bill's website, that testimony. And they had diagnosed her with postpartum cardiomyopathy and, and came to her and said, we have no cure for you. Except you have a heart transplant, you'll die. And so after a couple of days, they came and said, well, we're introducing you to the heart transplant team tomorrow. But they came back in the next morning and said, we're not going to introduce you to the transplant team. You got And started speaking the word, started confessing the word. Janie brought Belinda confession cards with all these scriptures on it to confess. Two weeks later, she went home. No heart transplant from the doctors. A year later, she went back to the doctor and said, what? what? He said, well, you're fine. I said, what does that mean? He said, if I didn't know your case, if I hadn't read your file, if I didn't know what had happened, I would say you've never had a problem with your heart. She got a heart transplant. It's just that while the doctor left the room, the great physician showed up. And he walked in the room and gave her a new heart. She's still alive today. Isn't that right, Belinda? Hallelujah. Glory to God. 
She's still alive. 20, 25 years later, she's still alive. Without the doctors cutting and putting another heart, they, Jesus put another one in. The doctor said you have to die. And heart transplants aren't guaranteed. You might get three or four years. Maybe. Because you have to live on the anti-rejection drugs. Your body's trying to get rid of it. It's in there. It's not happy that something else is in there. So it's working. It just says, I don't want you. I don't want you. I don't want you. But the Lord showed up. The breath of his nostrils that the enemy had come against one of his kids. Hallelujah. And in his fierce anger, he showed up. Not against David, but against his enemy. Don't think the devil has a cozy relationship with God. Y'all hear you? Are you here? I'm in a good old fashioned country whooping. Wore him out. And whenever he tries to stick his ugly head up and shows up, and we cry upon God, here he comes to put another little, little more on him. What do you mean you're messing with him again? Hallelujah. The Lord liveth. And blessed be my rock. Let the God of my salvation be exalted. Amen. I will magnify the Lord, for he is worthy to be praised. So shall I be delivered from mine enemies. The Lord liveth. Blessed be the rock, that the God of my salvation be exalted. Amen. Father, we thank you. The ghost working in us, the power of God upon us to deliver us, and to set us free. Off right now in the name of Jesus. Your word says that you wrought special miracles by the hand of God. And the diseases went out of them, and the evil spirits departed from them. So with their hands on this cloth right now, we curse every work of the enemy. We command the neck of the enemy be broken in the life of this person. It's cloth. It is transferable. And we decree her every whit whole from the top of her head to the soles of her feet in the name of Jesus. And thank you, Father, that those be around them to surround them with words of faith. Crying under our God and putting our trust in Him and keeping His statutes. In Jesus' name, we thank you for it. We bless you for it. We give you the glory and the honor for it. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we just lay hands on Tommy right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the healing power and anointing of God. You said we'll lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. So we speak and we curse the works of the enemy in her body in the name of Jesus. We command the cells in her body to regenerate and to function as designed by God. We command the cells drive out sickness and disease as they're anointed by God. The anointing of God works in her body to make her every whit whole in the name of Jesus. Rise and be healed in the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name, lay hold by faith to your answer. In Jesus' name, amen, 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 amen. Can somebody say God is good. Somebody say, God's good all the time. The Lord, he is God, and there is none else. Can you say amen? amen. Hallelujah. My wife has something for her, too. Okay. Hallelujah. Pack up healing scriptures. Amen. Hallelujah. A 
I said, amen. We sure love y'all. Amen. Thank you for with us. Thank you for being part of the service. Hallelujah. We give our faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's all stand up. To those who are joining us today by Facebook, uh, we love you. God bless you. Thank you for being with us. We trust you got ministered to. And remember this, that until we meet again, this is the victory that overcomes the world.